Okay, so what's up, what's up? I can't even fake it. Cause when Sonia and Ernesto be talking, I kind of get a little hyped up. Like, mm, what are we about to get into? But tonight, or this jail call tonight seemed just a little different. I didn't feel that presence of Ernesto and Sonia like I normally do. It almost seemed like Ernesto was getting a little tired of her or like he's trying to read her for what she really is. Like he's just, I don't know. It just didn't seem like they was really connected. Now, don't get me wrong. Sonia, she was her usual self going to wear you out. She got to, you know, get those. Uh, you know, especially when he asks, like, you in bed. <laughs> then, like, the voice totally changed to something else. Sonia tonight was the therapist. She was the legal counsel team. She was the corrections officer. I mean, she even went so far as to say, well, you know how it is with these COs. They don't really have no humanity when it comes to you know, humankind and how they're to act. And I'm thinking, how you think some babies was made in jail? Okay. Oh no, they got that human to human contact. Okay. When they doing these other things. Now, maybe they just ain't filling him up in there. I ain't seen to be doing anything like that. You know, all things alleged. Just my opinion. But then, you know, she becomes... You know, the CEO correspondent of the healthcare system when she wanted to talking about HIPAA violations. Then, you know, as the legal team, you know, she's giving him all this guidance that ain't making no sense whatsoever. I think that's why I be enjoying these calls because some of them make no sense at all. But still, I'm hooked on them. Um, what else? What else? Where? Oh, my Lord. Okay. Sonia, the doctor. Okay. She even became the doctor. I mean, what hasn't this lady touched? He's asking about what type of cancer. And so she's like, look, whatever type of cancer it is at that age, you just old. He's like, well, wait a minute. The person ain't, what kind of cancer? But I am no doctor. So I ain't even about to get into that. And then Lord, by the time they got on religion, Mm -mm, mm -mm. Just the craziest thing. In another part of this phone call, I, I want to mention before I even go there, but I, I was like, did I hear this correctly? I had to back it up, rewind, go back to yesterday's taping. But I'm like, why? Because I already like know these tapings. Like, I, I be keeping up with these crazy folk. Sonia told him that he's no, she or Nessa. See, they they be having us all over the place a lot of times. But Ernesto told Sonia that she's got to be confident, confident. Now, wait a minute. Shirley just told you that you got to be confident in what God can do. And now you taking what Shirley is saying to you to maybe get you through your dark moment. It was just all a mess but one thing about it Sonya ain't buying it she's not buying it Sonya gonna say what she want to say say it how she want to move on to the next thing she's gonna make sure she get that uh -uh, uh -uh, in there as well and that just wears you out but y'all let me tell you this too though tonight I counted up how many times Ernesto laughed I ain't never done that before but I said let me count these times up it was a total of eight times and nothing was funny. Nothing was, I can understand having a lighthearted conversation, but let's just get into it so we can just dissect some of this. So she was putting on that, 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 that voice that I'm going to tell y'all what voice it is. Y'all remember that Spike Lee movie, Girl Six? Now this was way, way, way back in the day, but the character was doing that type of, them type of phone calls, you know, work with me if you know where I'm going. 
Girl Six, Teresa Randall played that role and she had a heck of a voice that she put on for that role. But that's how this one right here, Sonya is trying to sound like, but she be going in and out like, my gosh, like, eh, what's that all about? Like, because she's at work. How did you just change it up from, I'm at work. Like you trying to have this per voice that look, it ain't working. At least it wasn't working tonight. But like I said, Ernesto, he didn't sound like himself. But you know, they get in these situations and sometimes like people's minds don't be all there. And before you know it, they be having to take certain medicines to keep them. But you know, all things alleged, I'm not saying that is what's going on, but whoo, they say, okay, so far this has been going on. He's been in jail from this, according to this phone call here for six months. Okay, what's another part we can get into? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm on the legal side. I, I got this. So, you gotta make sure that that's handled. You just need to make sure your mental look good. So, you need to start talking to people. Okay. So, I'm just sit there and look at a wall. Or look at an inmate. Call your friend. Call your brother. Call your son. Okay. All right. You hear me? She said that right there would turn into something physically wrong with you. Sonia said you would stress yourself into a stroke or heart attack by not having communication with such ones. By just sitting there, looking at those four walls. By sitting there and being amongst other inmates, basically. But what about people's credit that he was supposed to have been helping, but allegedly, basically just ruined because of how much he benefited from taking advantage of their social security numbers and doing only God knows what and whoever those alleged victims are by having their credit ruined. Do you know when something like that happens? When somebody puts you in ruins or even when, you know, individuals take up on themselves to ruin their own credit, how long that takes if it ever gets figured out? So I'm just saying, please be aware of these so-called fix-it credit places. Because sometimes you can even go about just, if you if you just look for the information, you, you can, well, I don't want to get into that because I'm, I'm no CPA, but I'm just saying, just, just have to be aware of who you do business with. Okay, but yeah, I was like, Laura, she told this man he been done stressed his out, himself out into, and I said, well, doggone. Lord, Dr. Sonia is in the building. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This, I mean, these conversations just been going this way, then this way. I mean, this man honestly sounded tired. Talk about how he be sounding like he's ready to get off the phone with Shirley Strawberry tonight. I think he was more than happy to hang out with her. But like I said, he just didn't sound like himself. I don't know what I was looking for. I don't know if I was looking for some of that conversation that they was doing like early on. Maybe I was. Maybe I was. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. What else can we get into next? Let's see here. You know what? I think I am just going to have to go ahead and get into that confidence part. I think I am. I think I am. I think I am. I wasn't planning on it, but... Okay, that's where he brought up, we lose confidence in a lot of things. She said, you are the spiritual one. So again, Shirley Strawberry, she the one was just reminding you, Ernesto, to be confident and that we have to wait. We have to wait on the Lord. Not using it on her. How dare you? How dare you, Ernesto? Uh, 
Ernesto talking about it was just one question just to kind of stimulate the mind ask a question you know where you come from what do you think about this he went down the street around the corner went to McDonald's then changed his mind then went to Burger King then decided to go to Taco Bell came back home decided he didn't like the Burger King then he said I want a pizza right now after he had the pizza and just one bite he decided to say well instead of going to Pizza Hut I really should have went to Papa John's but then he started having flashbacks to some stuff that went on at Papa John's and all that drama that was going on and then Shaq became a part of it then he said well I ain't heard nothing about Domino's and started thinking about the Domino's farm but then you know that involves some things that he made me not supposed to be involved in so then he said well what about taco bell but then he said you know last he knew people you know and and, and no disrespect to the ones that work at taco bell because i go but he said he just felt like you know the ones that do work at taco bell they just be having these strange looks to the the man is straight not all there it was just a simple 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 question that turned into all of that and then some that had nothing to do with nothing Th this stuff is so strange that i couldn't even find the part that i was actually looking for <laughs> and i had it wrote down it's just strange very strange conversation tonight She said, mm -hmm. everything going to be all right. Sonia, Sonia, just stop. Just knock it off. And by the time I heard you have one minute left with this conversation, I thought, hallelujah, hallelujah. How in the world did I even get through this one? I don't know. But looking forward to the next one. I know that. <laughs> Too much for me, too much for me. Some of these calls is too much for me, but I have to digress. Then I have to get back into it. And it, like I said, it's just a reminder because they out here, they out here. They coming in all shapes and sizes, they out here and voices.